Welcome to the Fast Fix channel, everyone. My name is Jason, and today we are fusing up this beautiful 24 shot rack. If you guys would like how to know how to build one of these all for yourself, I'll link a video at the end of this one exactly how to make this. Piggybacking off the last video where we did an 18 shot fuse, it was such a hit. I think it had 10 views in the first day. We're going to go ahead and make a secondary video um, on this 24 shot rack. So hopefully, you guys enjoy. I think the goal for this one should be fairly simple. I think what we're going to do, barrage of six right in the beginning, kind of let it run through, and then shoot the final six at the end. So we'll kind of have a finale or a great opener, then we'll kind of have the middle of the show, and then a great finale at the end. So that's going to be our goal. Since we know what we want the shells to do, um, it's just a matter of, of wiring it, I'm sorry, fusing it in order to accomplish that. So let's not waste any time. We're going to be using uh, this pink fuse burns approximately one second per foot. A little bit faster than that, but we're gonna still approximate to that. Then we're gonna use this fast fuse, and this burns 0.1 to 0.3 seconds per foot, extremely quick. And we're gonna use this to kind of jump fuse a bunch of different um, mortars together. Jumping right into it, let's get started. So what we need to do is we want the first six to go off as fast as we can. Now, kind of changed my mind, and initially I had uh, this pink going down and I was kind of doing them sequentially and kind of maybe do like a barrage of six in the middle, but I'm scrapping that idea actually. So we're gonna cut this, what I did earlier, and get rid of it. We can keep that. So what we need to do is fast fuse the first six shells. So we're just gonna take our fast fuse here, just kind of stretch it out, we'll use as much as we need to. So we're gonna leave a little lead here It'll kind of hang off the end of the rack, maybe two, three inches, whatever length this is, will be fine. And we'll fuse this into the show. So this will be our lead into this uh, rack going off. So essentially all we need, really need to do is just make sure that our fuses are all wound together and hooked up appropriately. So this fuse, it turns out it's just not long enough. So what we need to do is just attach a jumper, which we've done. So we'll take this and we'll take our um, long end and all we need to do is zip tie these together. Oh yeah, remember, we're leaving out that much to, for our lead offs. We just need to tie these together. So as we come down the line here, again, we want these to go off as fast as possible. So kind of just want these to hit this or be choked up on this fuse as far as we can. So again, though, it's really not gonna matter. This fuse burns so fast that it doesn't make a huge difference. Okay, that's pretty good. So these first six are all fused up. They're gonna go really fast, but now we need to get rid of the fast fuse and bring our slower burning pink fuse. So we'll just go ahead and cut this off. Here's good. So now that we got our first six fused up, we'll just take our pink fuse and kind of, again, toss it down the line and we'll just cut it off whenever we're done with it. So really we just need to splice it into this fast fuse that leads down the line. So we'll do that with more zip ties. Now, the real difference here between fast fusing and kind of slow fusing, if you want to consider that, is how fast this fuse is going to start reaching these different rows. Now, I want to have all three of these shells in each row. I basically go off at once, but I don't want them to go off all together. Because in, in my opinion, that just takes away from, you know, kind of the beauty, I guess, of the shells. So, um, but trust me, there is a point in time for sky puke, and we will get there. Um, but... For timing like that, you know, I'm kind of figuring like a three second delay between each um, row of firing. So that's about three inches worth of this pink fuse. So we're going to basically um, kind of eyeball three inches here and just fuse each row accordingly. Enjoy the time lapse of me doing that.
All right, we're at the back end of the rack now. We're gonna get these last six fired, basically in kind of a finale. We want them to all go at once for that nice sky puke effect. So we're just gonna take our three inches here, approximately, just cut that. You can see I'm using a razor blade and not scissors because sometimes if you don't have the right scissors, they can actually cause a spark. And uh, if you are wiring these in your basement like I am, that is a very bad thing. Uh, it would be bad anyway. But uh, do yourself a favor, just be safe. Use a razor blade if you don't have um, scissors that are specifically designed to cut fuse. So uh, what we'll do is we'll wire in our fast fuse here. Fuse in our fast fuse. I like to say wire in, I don't know why. And uh, actually what we need to do is put jumpers on these two first, so we'll do that. All right, so now we'll take our fast fuse, now that we got our jumpers fused in, and we'll just start wiring them up, fusing them up, and uh, just do this normally. Um, it's really not that different. Um, you're just using fast fuse instead of the slower burning uh, pink stuff. So. Cut it off. Here's the final product, everybody. As you saw, I just kind of centrally led um, just kind of one fuse that will service the entire rack. And we've got our six shot opener. And then we're gonna slow down and do about a three second delay per row. And then we're gonna go six shot finale at the end. And again, guys, if you wanna see how I built this rack, uh, just check the video I link at the end. I'll also put it in the description. You can see how you can make a rack just like this. It's not too hard. But as far as the 4th of July goes, it looks like we're gonna have a good year. Check out this next video clip. It's that firework rack actually being used. Nice.